Good morning. Hi, I'm Allison and I help people stay accountable to their health and fitness goals and help other people help people do the same. Let me just fix this up. Alright, um, so good morning. It's Monday. Um, I've got my daughter awake, so sometimes that can make for a fun scope, but we'll see how she does. She's watching. She's saying hi, but she can't tell that you can't see her. Um, so, good morning anyway. So that's not why I'm here. I'm not here to talk about her, but I am here because I listened to something so... You ever hear something that's just so ridiculously, like, why is this not in my brain? Why... Why am I still doing things the way I once was when this is so ridiculously simple that, I don't know. And I have told people that food is fuel for years. This is something I believe so, so well to be true that, you know, I tell other people, I try to exist by it, but of course things creep into my diet that you know I don't love that or not that I don't love they might taste good but that aren't um, you know aren't really great nutritional value um, they don't make me feel good right now I'm pregnant and I have a lot of food aversions but the funny thing is that most food doesn't taste good to me right now so I'm eating things that sound good but then they're not, and they're not helping me feel better. They're not helping me, um, you know, I'm not striving for any fitness goals right now because I'm pregnant, but I am striving to be a fit mother and uh, have a fit, healthy pregnancy and have a healthy child. These are all very important things to me. So if everything tastes the same basically why am I eating food that I wouldn't normally eat right but then I listened to something this morning which was talking about you know if you had a prize racehorse if you had you know what whatever you wanted to perform best, your car you don't put crap in your car you wouldn't feed your racehorse crap you would feed it things that it needs to function the way it would function best so I mean and I'm, I know for when a usual day when I'm not pregnant and I'm not having food aversions usually it's not um, these things aren't usually difficult for me they are but they're less difficult because I've made it a habit to eat healthy food so I if there is something that I want one day it's not in my house because I don't buy it. I don't have food that I buy. My daughter's food is fairly healthy. You know, some stuff that, you know, is for ease and because she doesn't really like a lot of foods. But for the most part, if it's something that I know that I'm gonna, you know, want to have, I keep it out of the house because it's easier for me. Because I do, you know, I used to be obese. I used to eat whatever I wanted and I used to feel crappy all the time, but I always see food and I have like a nostalgia thing with food. So I remember how I used to love it and then I taste it now and it doesn't taste as good because my taste has changed. I love fresh, healthy food. Yesterday, all I wanted was some whole wheat pasta with tomatoes, like weird things like that that would have been so out of the ordinary for me a few years ago, but with this you hear this thing and it's i think it was the time i needed to hear it so maybe this is the time you need to hear it if you have crabby food in your i'm pointing to my pantry hi um i'm standing in the kitchen so if you have crappy food in your house you're going to eat it throw it away it's not worth keeping it fill your stuff with healthy food that makes you feel good, that makes you perform well, that doesn't make you feel like you wanna sit on the couch. Yesterday, I did not eat well. I will, I don't know, come clean, whatever. I don't feel like this is some huge confession. Yesterday, I did not eat well. I didn't feel well, and I'm sure that not eating well only made that worse. 
yesterday I, I'm getting over a cold so it's just like getting out of my system hopefully <laughs> but I felt awful and so I ate awful and so I felt no better nothing I ate yesterday helped me to I'm sure a few things I ate did because I didn't eat all terrible but most of the things that I was eating was not were not taking me forward um, they were not making me feel any healthier. I also barely drank water yesterday. Like, I'm sick, I should be drinking water, but it was like, ugh, I don't want water. So, today, that's done. I am feeling myself like the fit, healthy person I wanna be. And not as the, I don't know, do any of us want to be the person sitting on the couch feeling crappy? I know I've said crap a lot in this, and I'm sorry if that offends you, but I, didn't say other words, so. <laughs> um, but if, I, I'm pointing to my couch now. Yeah, you're here, right? Um, so if I wanna be the person that wants to sit on the couch all day and feel disgusting, who wants to be that person? I wanna be the person with energy. I wanna be the person who feels good, who wants to do things. These are the things I want to be. I don't wanna be the person sitting on the couch. So I am going to fuel my body, and since right now nothing tastes good and sounds good anyway, I am going to be the person who eats the way I used to eat before I found out I was pregnant, before they all, all these foods sounded gross. And sure, there might be things that I eat that, like chicken, I don't know if you've been pregnant, most pregnant women are like chicken, bleh. I can usually handle it with like a sauce, so I might introduce some more flavorings than I might have usually, um, but I'm going to try and keep it as clean as possible. Fresh fruits, not just, I, I meant foods, not fruits. Fresh foods, <laughs> fruits too, but fresh foods, um, using those fresh flavors to, um, <laughs> to using fresh flavors to flavor it instead of using something processed, um, trying to find clean alternatives, and we'll see how that goes. And hopefully, she can benefit from it too. And this little one down in here, and everyone will be fresh fruits, fueled well, and able to have lots of energy so we can keep up with this girl. <laughs> She's got all the energy in the world. All right, so excuse her messy hair. That is my messy hair. Some of us slept, some of us worked out, but we're all up now, so have a great day. And if you hear something that just makes ridiculous sense to you today, just roll with it and know that you were in the place to hear it today. All right, and fuel your body. You wanna say fuel your body? <laughs> say fuel. Guga. You don't say guga. All right. <laughs> she doesn't want to talk. She can. I swears. <laughs> Have a great day. Happy Monday. <laughs>